All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today we are tagging with Tiago and uh, we are using the Pendulum Magician. So hopefully I'll be able to pull off the dirtiness because if you guys know, this deck sometimes can be just like hella mean. Just like, yeah, let me go ahead and Pendulum summon that Apex Avion and that, uh, that, uh, not just wreck unicorn and you just get wrecked. Like, <laughs> I swear to God, it's just like, it just happened to be that this deck is able to pull off cards like that. All right, so. Tiger's gonna go ahead and play Galaxy Wizard, get his, what do you get? Uh, Galaxy Soldier? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just summon Lila. <laughs> Just like, oh yeah, we got this twin twister summon Lila. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, we didn't want it anyway. Wow, and now he's gonna set some things. <laughs> Watch that one piece of back row if he's something to fuck me up. Oh, it's Infernoids. I swear to God, if that one piece of back row is something to fuck me up, I'll be so sad. I'll, I'll, I'll cry. I'll be like, no. <laughs> All right, so I'm probably gonna play unicorn. So it's probably be unicorn and uh, peasant in my pendulum zone. And I'll summon normal summon scroll card by Joker, but pendulum summon these two. So yeah, that seems like a a fine idea to say the least. Watch it be a fucking. I would say watch it be a fucking breakthrough skill. Oh, I mean, I guess I can get odd eyes. I don't really need none of these other magicians, especially since I'm gonna be playing. Uh, a unicorn, so yeah, maybe be odd eyes. Why not? Why not? So we'll go ahead and play unicorn. Or go ahead and play uh why can't I call him the peasant? Oh, because Carter has an updated Oath Dragon. So watch that piece of back row be something like Solemn Warning or something and just fucking wreck me. And then summon you three and get that damage in. That'd be terrible. It'd be like, of course, fucking Lila, uh, Lila, fucking back row and proceed to wreck our butts. Like, it's terrible. Yeah. In the first turn, you target one light monster in the field and make it that effective monster until the end of the turn. Which means that before that, that glitch, that would just be permanently negated. So you go ahead and play your something so I can go ahead and just be like, Apex, there we are, and go back. Negate. Well, Tiago can't use my pendulums too much because Tiago has some eights. Wait, now you're gonna pop my scale? Now you're gonna pop my scale. I think about maybe negating that. Yeah, that's okay. I'd rather get the good negate on from what something more threatening than just an MST. Now I'm just gonna take a nice chunk out of your life points, boy. You're just lucky that I don't have a unicorn. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and set the notice. Mm, yeah, I'll leave it like that, because these are Pender monsters. I'll just go back to the extra deck, Pender Stone back later. The unicorn is dead, he killed my unicorn. How dare you, look at, look at, look at how cute the unicorn is. Like, that is, that is a G right there. No, that's fine. <laughs> Don't touch my things. <laughs> He's like, Lila! Come on, Lila! Like, no. No. Well, there's some plague, of course. Upstart, sure. He still got a lot of plays. He got the plague, and now he's got these two level fours. Like, he, he has some plays. He has some plays two days. Y'all guys haven't even gotten this door yet, and you guys are like half your life. Wow, okay. Uh, no, that's fine. And then they quit. <laughs> Alright, we'll get another duel and get back. Alright, back. Ah, oh, the power. Oh, I got two two unicorns. What the fuck am I supposed to do with two unicorns? I guess I can summon him. No. It allows me to do more rank 7 plays because uh, I don't have to have Dragon Pit in the extra deck. I mean, in the extra deck in the Pendulum scale all the time. Wow, you saw that? That kind of art just kind of popped in. <laughs> so it's time for using some kind of medley of blue eyes and galaxy eyes, like all the eyes. 
Just thousand eyed, thousand eyed dragon deck. <laughs> Galaxy eyes, odd eyes, a little bit of red eyes in there, all the eyes. Yep. Or it's time to just straight up switching the blue eyes. I played that for pretty good. Just discard a card and get, go ahead and get both of them. Yep, and then you just go ahead and reveal and summon. Not bad. Pop that. Thought it was gonna be something like that. It's like, it's probably gonna be something dirty with no extra deck. Oh, great. Skull Serums. It should be fun. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn, the Galaxy Wizard Ultimate Blue Eyes Wombo Combo. So, who are you gonna exceed him to? Belgrand or that uh, one dragon that blocks spells and gates spells and eats them as you can exceed materials? Who are you going to? I'd probably go into Felgrand. Yep. <laughs> Felgren, because it's always a safe play. <laughs> Blue eyes, that was, that was a nice combo, Tiago. That was very nice. Just, yeah, I can summon the ultimate pop and then summon. I would have never thought of that play. And he's going to get a Blue Eyes during his face because of uh, ancient, ancient White Stone. Like, damn. Dragon Shrine, maybe Sun Keeper? No, it's not another one. But isn't one already gonna go off this turn? Or is, is it not once per turn? Once turn in, okay, this card sent there. Oh, blood monster. You can only use this effect. So they both go off. Oh, damn. I did not know that. I thought you can only use the effect once per turn. No, they both go off. So, damn. So, double. Double white spirit and a Felgram. Echo still has cards in hand. It's better there's nothing to banish. That'd be nice to banish some back row. So far there's nothing. So Skull Servant Dak and what? Another same deck where you can have the mirror match. Yep. Kill search on, but in search for one of your magicians. Probably Wisdom Eye, I'm assuming. Yep. <laughs> Uh, now it makes sense why that card is at one in the other, <coughs> and, uh, and, uh, OCD, because that card is, like, the super enabler. So, we'll just be, go ahead and play the same deck. So I'm gonna play, go ahead and play my fill spell. No, calm down, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and play my cute unicorn. I love this card. It, it's adorable. <laughs> no, fell grand damn. Yep. We'll go ahead and pop the unicorn. Go ahead and give me. Sure, give me an odd eyes. So, who can I summon? I, actually, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna overextend. I mean, there's really no reason to. I'm just gonna play my odd eyes so that you can destroy and get my search. I got him, him, and this. So, yeah, I'm just gonna take it slow. There's really no reason for me to overextend. Yeah, you want to play the Mirror Force? Play the Mirror Force. We've got Felgren. Or you can just take a nice chunk of damage. And this deck, sometimes it seems like it didn't need some setup. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes, you know, with the right scale, you can just go off. Especially if you have the Apex Avion and the and the, the Unicorn. Not this Unicorn, but the other Unicorn. There's a lot of Unicorns in this deck. Like, hello? <laughs> so, I, like My Little Pony dot deck. <laughs> I know nothing about My Little Pony. I have nothing against people who are bronies, but I know nothing about them. <laughs> there's like, there's like, uh, there's like, uh, Rainbow Dash, and, um, and, uh, Pinkie Pie, and, uh, 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 <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Clearly I know nothing. <laughs> What the world's worst brownie right here, dog. <laughs> I can get everything back, though. I'll probably kind of summon you. Uh, I can get you back to the hand, and I'll probably put in you a scale. No, I don't need the unicorn. I'll be probably putting you on the scale, just so I can start popping some back row. Mm-hmm.
He is sending them skull seconds. Bam. This card is just talking about battle and centenary. Are you supposed to summon this card? I mean, I'm gonna get fucked up anyway, so I might as well just make you, force you to take fucking uh, uh, 28. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh yeah, you do go to zero. You declared your attack, so you're just gonna run into me, take that 28, but you'll come right back. <laughs> ah, you got it. You got wrecked. I didn't even do anything this time. Just, this is fucking notice. Just, I literally did nothing. Did I set the notice? I don't even think I set the notice. No, Tiago set the notice. So. so what, you're gonna go ahead and banish all them Skull Servants to summon him? Like, whatever. Again? He's not even gonna be nearly as strong. Only 3,000 this time. Alright, I mean, it's still better than nothing. Still 3,000. Stronger than what we have. Oh, 4,000. Caveman fucking Yu-Gi-Oh, it's Skull Servants. You just try to make the beefiest king of Skull Servants you possibly can. Ooh, scary. <laughs> that Thiago can probably fuck this man. Oh, he can destroy him by card effects. He only gets his effect when he destroy by battle. Yep, reveal blue eyes, summon it, pop it. Nothing. Nothing. Yep, get wrecked. Get tracked. Yep. But generally, how King of Skull Servant gets right. And generally, nine times out of ten, it's not gonna be destroyed by battle. It's like it's like a, it's like Roman and Naga. It's like you're probably not gonna be showing this card by battle. Oh, oh, here we go. There you go. All the galaxies. Damn. Yep. Her up. Does it say level three the lower monsters cannot be destroyed at battle or unaffect and are unaffected by spells and traps? Oh, I thought it was like couldn't be destroyed by card effects, but no, that is clearly not the case. I'll just banish like all his kings. Like fuck his kings. Oh, well, he gets to choose. Yeah, just just banish all your uh, skull servants. You don't need them. Definitely don't need them. We need skull servants. You know, he would su if he would summon it, it would be like fucking like 6,000 right now. So. Another <laughs> 6,000 again, like goddamn. There's a couple of Skull Servants and stuff. <coughs> Guess he doesn't have any more blue eyes in the deck. So. White Stone's like, what? I don't, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> so I've done nothing in this duel. Tiago's the one that's just going freaking just. <laughs> yep. So you having fun, Tiago? You want like you want to wrap this up? <laughs> Damn. And Harry wants that juicy attack. Oh my God, it's gonna be a lot of damage. You gonna let Tiago do it, or is this one card that can stop him? I mean, even if whatever it was, fell grand. Unless it's like Negata. Wow, exactly 9,000. Not over, exactly. Nope, Tiago, you failed. <laughs> Alright, we'll get another duel. Be right back. Alright. Another duel. Another victor. No, I shouldn't even say anything. <laughs> we'll probably get destroyed. A lot hinges on uh, how well Tiago opens. Tiago opens up just garbage, then we're probably gonna lose. But, you know, he opens up well. You know, he's got the Excel Light and the. Galaxy Expedition. That seems like the best way to make a U Galaxies deck is to literally just play like all the galaxies. Play you guys with Pendulum? What? What kind of question is that? Like, do we play with Pendulum? Is that the question? Like, is that your question? Do we play with Pendrum? If that's your question, then the answer is yes. 
That was a weird question. It was just phrased weird. Damn, look at that. Sending all that. So you could just. Does it have to be a different name? Considering, yeah, a different name. And. Is that freaking Avion I see? Wow, it's actually Elemental Heroes. It's actually Elemental Heroes, people. Good thing it says different names. That'd be crazy if you can go ahead and just send three ancient white stones and have them all go off during the end phase. Like, God damn. And, uh... Herotic Ultimate to Zulkin dot deck? Maybe? I don't know. Doesn't seem like it, especially since you're playing the level 5. No, no, no. It's definitely Ultimate Labradite. I'm playing it. I'm playing it. Wow, then you just normal summon. Because <laughs> that was a, like, a special summon, a special summon. Yeah, so. That was your normal summon. Exceed to that. You try to summon that. That it. Uh, summon your Redum. Redum activates effects. Summon back probably one of these. This going to Ultimaya. Yeah. Wow, so you're just gonna quit. You don't even know what kind of deck I'm playing. Like, whatever. If you wanna quit, quit then. You act like we. You act like something's on the line. You act like it's a tournament or something. Or you put money on this duel. You want to play. If you lose, I mean. You just lose. You win, you win. You gain nothing. Wow, really? I seriously thought you were gonna summon Redem, and then Redem is gonna summon you back one of these from the graveyard. No, let's just go. Ultimaya to Zulkin. Set a card. I, I, I still prefer my version with Mali and stuff. I find Mali funner than using the Heretics or Herotics or how you say his name. I hate to say their names. I still don't know how to say their names. I'm not sure if it's Heretics or Herotics or Heraldics or whatever. Feels right. That should be fun to deal with. <laughs> yeah, I'm turning that into a guide charger because why not? Run over that and then crash your bills into my uh into dark matter and gain a thousand attack because why not? Really? I, I would have done it. It's pretty clear that you can't even get over these plays, so. What is your effect? He touches a signature tail from this card. And then it can make two attacks. Okay. And then who uh who the fuck's going off in the graveyard? Oh, probably ancient stone. Alright. I mean I'm pretty chill right now. There's really not much I can do. I mean definitely wanna big eye that freaking uh thing, so I might go ahead and try to shoot for that. So, if you do not activate the effect of Pendulum Magicians this turn, I should probably play you, then play you, and activate you, pop you, then play Pendulum Call, get the search. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I said, oh, I did it wrong. I, I I said it and then I did it wrong. It's fine. It should still be fine. So definitely you, and uh, yeah, you. I said it, but then I did it wrong. Good job, Daniel. Good job. Alright, so... Definitely play you. We'll definitely play you. I'm gonna go ahead and... Activate pitching you. Off you. Yeah, clear up that back row. Wow, you, didn't, you really didn't want to play that Twin Twister? Oh, I could've got the blue eyes back to my hand and done that play. I wouldn't have fucking went neg with it. It's cool, though. And can't destroy my shit, so there's really no point. Definitely gonna big eye and take that bill, so that's a given. Is there any point in activating this card? I'm, I can't pop any. I'm not gonna pop any of my monsters, no any of my scale, so. so. Sucks that I won't be able to really keep the Apex Avion, because I am going into big eye. Artifact, 
probably he probably wants. Okay, they're just gonna scoop. All right, yay! Another victory. <laughs> we just win it up in this duel. All right, but well, we have time for one more. One more. Get back. All right. Whew. That guy. I bet, I bet he's tasting so all his hands pretty good. Got that Apex Avion. I, I got the Skull Crow Pack Joker and the Odd Eye Fusion. Oh, woo, woo! <laughs> oh, just keys. Oh, summoning a big ass uh, Zero Gigas would suck. I can't really handle that. Uh, this deck sometimes has story um, with a problem with authority for hell. Yeah, it's Gigas. Wow, so just get, get Gigas an end. Like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> That's not good. We're gonna destroy you. I thought you were gonna bust it out first turn. I was like, I might have to big eye that man too. Took that bill in there just like quit. <laughs> I guess he was screwed. He couldn't play a twin twister on my pendulum scales because of uh, pendulum call. So he was just like fucked. <laughs> that last opponent, he was just screwed. <laughs> I guess he already has the alternate in his hand. It seems like he would search for that instead of searching for the galaxy eyes. Yep. There it is. And then alternate. Alternate galaxy eyes dragon. A thousand eye dragon deck. That's also a different Yu Gi Oh card. <laughs> a completely different Yu Gi Oh card. 60 card deck with no extra deck. Like, what are you playing? Cosmos? Like, why you don't have no extra deck? Always have your toolbox. I don't care what deck you play. I don't even care if you're playing Burn. Always have your toolbox. If you don't know it, it will happen. Unless you're absolutely not playing any monsters. Is there a deck that just absolutely doesn't play any monsters? I mean, Chicken Game FTK only plays like three monsters, but <laughs> maybe, maybe five? Just so you can go summon a monk pitch, summon a uh, librarian go ham. With the stupidity, I have no idea. Hurry up, Alex! Damn, do something. Been thinking. He's thinking of a storm over here. Whoa. Okay. I'm not sure if we disconnected, they disconnected, but uh, we're back. <laughs> okay, that was weird. <laughs> they just DC'd. So this should be the last duel in this video. Unless it goes absolutely super hyper fast, like I quit in like the next two minutes. <laughs> and if not, then yeah. But I, I, I can see how this deck has shot up in popularity and the good tierness. Alright, foolish. And uh, white stone, you get that blue eyes immediately. Like, Ancient stone is better because it summons it, and then you'll get it eventually, but. Inter Stone at least gets you that blue eyes immediately, unlike uh, Inter Stone where you gotta wait a turn. You gotta summon that blue eyes and the blue eyes will probably die, and then you'll go ahead and banish and get the blue eyes back to your hand, so... Yeah, kinda... kinda slow, but still good, still good. So it's questionable, how fast do you want blue eyes to your hand? As you can clearly see, uh, Kago's running still the original white stone, but... Kago has a lot of eights, like a lot. We saw a white spirit, we saw blue eyes, we saw... Alternate, we saw Galaxy Eyes, there's a lot of 8s in Tagos. Oh, wow. Okay, what the fuck with everybody quitting? <sighs> one more. Just give me one more duel. Get a pack. What are you saying really for? So I'm assuming it was your tag partner that quit? Because I don't even know what happened. I didn't quit. Tiago didn't quit. Apparently Sean didn't quit. So I guess it was the other guy. He just didn't even, no one even took their turn. Just quit. Like, damn. Tiago didn't even open up that well. I, Tiago can open up much, much worse. Like, look, look, bam, first turn. Oh, I would say bam, first turn foul grand. Well, it could have been first turn foul grand. But bam, look at that. First turn dark matter. Sending them dragons, sending them blue eyes pieces. And of course, you can go ahead and use alternate. I mean, Stone, get your alternate, but he'll probably wait a turn, so he can go ahead and summon his blue eyes on the end phase. So go ahead and banish three monsters from your deck. Is a Star Seraph engine? You banished the Star Seraph engine? I can't even see. You know, let me see. Now I can see. Nice chunk of it. Like, wow, Scepter. 
You banish the scepter of scale, which no one plays in a this, so probably some BLS in our future, because I'm seeing some lights and some darks. Ooh, Rota. That one Rota. What are we playing against? Empowered? Seen that in a cool minute. There's like kinda like an engine and it just kinda fell off. Wow, set a monster and end. Wow. You just I'm just like swiggity swiggity. I'm gonna get up in that booty. Alright, so. I don't have an odd eyes. What are you? You're an odd eyes monster, which I don't have. And you're an odd eyes pendulum dragon plus spellcaster, so you're inside odd eyes region, I can't even feel, so. Let's not even talk about that, so I guess we'll just go ahead and uh, activate you. Activate you. I know I'm summoning you three. Fuck it, I'll use the unicorn's effect. Put him back. It's a little bit less damage, but at least I don't have to deal with this monster. Like, this is what I want to deal with, because he said it for a reason, and uh, empowered do have a lot of monsters that are like, hey, when I'm destroyed by battle, and, like a search. So, no, no, no. Just go back to the hand. Just go, go back. Go back. We don't need you here. We don't like your kind around here. Bam. And once again, just a nice chunk out of their life points. Drop their life points like hella. Like, if this wasn't a tag deal, that would have been game. That would have been freaking just wreck. I'm good. Go ahead. So, I got Unicorn to fuck you up. Of course. Of course, Regeki. Oh, I'm so sick and tired of seeing you, Regeki. More often than not, I see you, the more I hate you. <laughs> I'm tired of getting destroyed by Regeki, man. Takes no skill at all. I carry those dark holes and at least there's some risk reward. There's no fucking skill with Regeki and I quit anyway. Alright, we're done. I'm tired of fucking winning. What? Yes, people, I'm tired of winning in this freaking video. So, of course, I will be back tomorrow with them DDs. Uh, I did pretty well last week, so let's see if I can uh, keep up the performance. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will, uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow.